doing well. In this video, I'm going to give you an update on my Chinese Tactical Tapco SKS. I'll go ahead and show you that the weapon is safe. Got an empty magazine with the bolt back. And uh, I recently uploaded a video where I uh, showed a newly put together uh, chess rig that I specifically made uh, to carry uh, duckbill magazines for my Tapco SKS uh, system. And I got some viewer requests asking if I could go ahead and uh, take a close look at some of the upgrades I've done to my SKS because uh, I have to say it's uh, been uh, over a year at least uh, since I did any uh, detailed video footage of this uh, SKS. So I'm going to go ahead and get into that. Check it out. Okay, so I'm going to work my camera by hand. So I'll just try to hold it as steady as I can as I work down some of the exterior parts of this SKS that I've added on. And uh, I want to go ahead and uh, mention uh, some of the internal additions and uh, parts that I've added in. I won't be showing those, so I want to mention them. Is uh, Something I've added in is uh, Murray's firing pin. Now that has a spring on it that prevents the slam fire with the SKS, so that's really nice, a good safe feature. I have a, a higher a strength wolf sear spring that helps a little bit on the trigger creep on my SKS. And I also have a modified bolt, which I have a video up of that as well and that provides a drop free magazine okay so i'm going to work down the left hand side of the rifle then uh flip it over and check out the other side one of the first things i want to talk about is uh, the sling system i have set up for this rifle and i've got a two point sling for it it is a highly adjustable sling similar to the uh, viking tactics uh, adjustable sling but this one was custom made i got on ebay several years back i'm not even sure if the seller uh, still makes them and I just have it attached to the loop that's on the barrel and the gas block. And in the rear of the rifle here, uh, this metal stud loop, that is a Tapco single point sling attachment point. And that's just a, a drop-in nut that you would put in there. A very simple install gives you that rear attachment point. But I'm not even sure if uh, those are made anymore. But it's, it is a really good addition to the Tapco stock system. I really like it. Moving on is I do have... A, a Tapco extended magazine release. It is polymer and I have to say I have to really vouch for this uh, piece of equipment on the rifle. It's really held up over the years. It's a very smooth and good release and I've never had any problems with it. Okay so now onto some cool stuff is this is a knife made by Topps Knives. It is the Battle Blade uh, Wolf Hawk and I do have some other videos on that so if you want to check a review on this awesome knife uh, feel free. Alright, so I have a vertical foregrip. This is a GG and g, &G uh, polymer uh, grip, and it's a little bit shorter than your standard uh, vertical foregrips, but I really like it, and uh, it's very comfortable. It adds some really good ergonomics to this rifle, and uh, I think that's about it uh, for the left side, and I will take that scope cover off. That is one that I made out of a Cryptek Mandrake Cordura, and just a really nice uh, scope cover it turned out to be, and uh it covers up a Seymour red dot, but I will check that out just here in a moment. Okay, so now we're going to work down the right side of the rifle. And here is a closer look of that Seymour red dot. It's a really fantastic red dot sight for the money. It's a, what I would call like a mid-range sight. It's not as expensive as an aim point, but it's a lot better than your average or red dot sights. And uh, this one is a, a polymer version. They do have one that is made of aluminum. But uh, since I have that uh, nice scope cover on it, uh, I'm not really concerned about breaking it and never really had a problem before. I've definitely uh, knocked this rifle around quite a bit and the uh, red dot has held zero without a hitch and it's also uh, overall the integrity has uh, held up quite well of it as well. I, I can really vouch for it. And also something I didn't mention was on that uh, Wolfhawk knife system, the Picatinny rail. The uh, Picatinny rail here is a, an added on modification that I did on both sides. Now this side used to have a flashlight and honestly I took it off because of the added weight. Uh, there's a lot of weight on the um, forward end of this rifle. So when I took that light off, it definitely decreased it quite a bit. That kind of helped me out. Uh, it's possible I may add another one on in the future. And, uh, that was a fairly simple install. I just uh, tapped the, um, the frame of the stock with a drill wasn't very hard, just bolted the, uh, the Picatinny rail in and just a really easy, uh, nice install. 
Also, here's something cool is uh, this is a custom gun rail. Got it shot. Show 2015. It adds for a really uh, good, comfortable uh, grip covering that uh, Picatinny rail. It's on this uh, Tapco stock system, so um, including that uh, foregrip and that uh, rail cover right there, it's a very comfortable forward uh, uh, grip setup. And uh, I think one of the last things I've got on the exterior of this rifle is a, uh, a flare holder that I designed that mounts on uh, this butt stock. And uh, it's just something I thought, um, you know, it would be nice to have something like this on the butt stock of a rifle. Uh, something that might be another good idea is adding a tourniquet on instead, but I just tried out the flare just uh, honestly because it's something you don't see very often. And uh, it is something that could uh, come in handy. You, you honestly never know. So I thought it'd be really good for my SKS platform. But uh, I think that uh, really uh, sums up most of the external parts. And like I said, there were those internal ones, uh, such as that upgraded uh, firing pin and some other items. But I really hope you enjoyed uh, some of the additions I made. I really like how this rifle turned out. It really works for me. The SKS is a really a fantastic weapon platform, and uh, especially with a few minor modifications, uh, you know, which uh, mine uh, over after the years I've worked on on and off are quite a few. But um, for the most part, they weren't very expensive and uh, just really worked for me. There's uh, some details on the upgrades and modifications to my tactical TAPCO SKS build. And uh, everyone out there, you know, their SKSs are set up uh, differently. This is just how uh, I've got mine. Now, uh, to conclude this video, I want to go ahead and mention something uh, that I might upgrade to is it's possible I may drop uh, my red dot and actually put on a rear aperture sight. Uh, made by Tech Sights, and that seems to be a really good method of a sighting system uh, for the SKS because it's set up uh, very similar to like the uh, M1 uh, battle rifles, like the M1 Garand, the M14 battle rifle systems. You have a rear aperture sight that would be back there um, uh, on the bolt housing, and uh, that would be an excellent setup for some iron sights. But that that's probably the only thing I'd really change on this uh, battle rifle setup. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I do appreciate your time. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and comment. I, I would love to read it and respond. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. And also share the video if you can. All those help me uh, continue to grow my channel. Thank you. Have a good one.